What is going on guys? Welcome to your 33rd Java game development tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be learning about something called mouse look. And if you're wondering what the H is mouse look, then I'll tell you. Mouse look is like this. If you ever played a first person shooter, especially on your computer like um, Doom probably or Modern Warfare, you know that whenever you want to look around all you have to do is move your mouse on the screen but we can't really do this right now because whenever we move our mouse and it hits the edge of the screen we'll stop looking so what we want to do is we want to be able to do 360s and give our player total freedom of wherever they want to look around so we need to make sure that our mouse never hits the edge of the screen and we do this using something called a robot and what a robot does is automatically move your mouse for you aside from you physically moving your mouse so that's what mouse look is is pretty much um, enables you to scroll forever I mean you can really scroll forever instead of just hit, getting to the edge of the screen and stopping so let's go ahead and get started um, we'll go ahead and I already made a class I named it look and make sure you have all your imports right here and also I implemented mouse motion listener so you can uh, respond to mouse motion events such as drag and move and also key listener right here and I implement key listener because whenever we want to escape our program uh, we need a key to escape it and that's going to be the escape key so let's go ahead and get started um, first we need a private image so we can actually see something scrolling around on our screen instead of just a white screen and I'm going to name it I'm just going to use my background image and now we need a robot object so private robot from the robot class and I'm just going to name mine robot since it's your first tutorial don't want to get anyone confused now we need to keep track of three points on our screen and there's actually a point class where we can do this so make private points and the first one is our mouse location and let me just go ahead and copy this save me some time and the other one is going to be the center of your screen which is center point and the last one is going to be that background image so we're going to be pretty much keeping track of three things location the mouse location the center point on your screens location and the images or that background image right here location and now we need one more boolean value so private boolean centering and this is going to be true while your mouse is centering on your screen and false while your mouse is already in the center of the screen so that's what all these variables do we're going to be actually using them well let's go ahead and get right into it the first method of this is of course our init like always public void init and what this is going to do first and foremost is called our super dot init so we can get all our good classes from last time and all that good stuff and next let's go ahead and actually take these point objects and set them equal to something mouse equals new points and we're going to be doing this for every point and now once we do this we can actually start giving it some value so mouse center of your screen and your image so pretty much all these three things are locations on your screen so now we'll go ahead and since we aren't centering anything right now centering equals false now aside from that the only really variable that we didn't work with is the background and the robot so let's go ahead and do that right now uh, after we create all these what we want to try is we want to set that robot e actually equal to a new robot object so we can use it later on after this what we want to do is we're going to make a method to center the mouse on your screen and it's going to be called recenter mouse so we're going to make a robot object we're going to get a method that called recenter mouse and what this does is pretty much take your cursor and put it back in the middle of the screen and this is how your mouse is never going to hit the edge of the screen and what this is going to do is it's going to give you your center points of the screen x and y so aside from that we're going to take mouse to x which is the location of the mouse x value which is left and right and set it equal to the center of the screen to x so this recenter mouse is going to give you your center of the screen and now we're going to set the mouse equal to that point so therefore our mouse is in the middle of the screen how easy is that so now your mouse's y value is equal to the center of the screen and its y value so now our mouse should be chilling in the center of the screen 
and now what do we want to do after that well we got to go ahead and catch exception name it ex um might want to actually put an exception here just put like system out print line and put exception one and what I like to do here's a neat little thing instead of writing what my exception is all I go is if I ever get an exception I I name all my exceptions one to whatever um, you know however long my program is 10 or something then if I ever print out an exception all I have to do th is scroll through until I get to that exception then look what code that didn't run so instead of trying to read alright unable to create a robot or unable to recenter mouse instead of me having like 80 recenter mouse methods I just go to that exception so you know that's a neat little tip you can write anything you want in there but just thought I'd throw that out there and now let's go ahead and do a couple more things set our window object equal to s dot get full screen and if you're wondering alright how can we use a screen object when we never even created one well if you remember in our super classes initialization which was the core we created a screen object so since we inherited everything from there we were able to create a screen object from right there now we need to go ahead and add mouse motion listener and it's just going to be this which is the window and window dot add key listener and that's going to be this as well which is again the window hasn't changed next set your background equal to new image icon and remember it needs to be in string I put mine in the C I put it in a folder called test and I put it in a file called back.jpg and now after that you just need to get image using the built-in get image method and we are good to go so let me make sure I put in C test two backslashes of course so it escapes itself and we're good to go for this method so that's all you need to do to get started in the initialization method pretty much call the superclasses initialization and give all your variables um, something to be referenced to so in the next tutorial we're going to be going over the draw method and also some other methods if we have time but for now thank you guys for my watching we are well on our way to using the mouse look feature so again thank you guys one more time don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time